And millions of women are saying, we don't like campaigns like that. If you say perfect body, have diversity, please. Inclusiveness is a word that's ringing true. So all the conversations that I was having about 10 years ago, yes, they were good. It kept me cutting my teeth and going back for research and trying to figure out how to develop a change within the entire industry so that I can have really hot looking clothes anytime I want to go in being a 14, 16 and want to rock it, looking great, feeling good, a part of the community. And also that other women who were size 20, size 22, or size 18 or 16 that really were fashion forward, wanting to be fashion forward could get into the same business. And the most important part of the news is she, the consumer, is being heard. And she's speaking, she's communicating that she wants change. And I think we're at a really incredible precipice and a tipping point of sorts that we're about to see a change on who's actually driving the decisions within boutiques, within design schools on how they're gonna cre you know, create these fabulous designers graduating. Right. Department stores can't change their, their direction. They're a big, big cruise line. And if you tell a department store, we want extended sizes, we want Missy 18, we want you to buy four 16s, three, you know, instead of one, one, two, one, however the buying is. You can't really go there. You can have some help with getting the buyers to be more refreshed and understanding of what is really taking place within a society. But you, you can't do that by one or two people talking. The, 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 the consumer, the individuals have to use their voice. Not everyone wants to change. And fashion has been such an exclusive, very, very uh, prideful of just the few to be involved in, in the haute couture, and, it's, and we understand that. But because that aperture is really bursting open from the consumer, from the, the individuals that are not classically seemed or deemed as fashionable above a size 12, which is really a fallacy and a myth, we're learning, we understand now, the students themselves have to be given this opportunity to be a part of the change and, and to be educated about that. I think the fashion conversation that we're having right now is not inclusive of all the 68 million women. We're, let's just take a quarter of that and then let's start there.